I purchased a ticket through uh, ASAP Tickets, and um, I was looking for a refund after uh, that flight was canceled. ASAP Tickets um, would not refund my money after they were after they received it from Delta Airlines in a timely fashion. It took almost three months for me to get my money back. The only way I was able to get my money back was through posting a review on Pissed Consumer. That led to a dialogue with ASAP Tickets, which led to a complete refund of my money. So on um, January 24th, I purchased um, these tickets to go to Berlin. And um, I purchased them through a secondary uh, market, uh, ASAP tickets. And um, as you can see um, on this, it says, um, I also purchased ticket protection. So um, as you know, on, um, I was supposed to leave on March 16th, on March 13th, uh, President Trump said that um, he was restricting travel to Europe. And so um, immediately on the 14th, <clears throat> I canceled the tickets. Then um, I called ASAP tickets and I said, you know, I would like um, not a voucher, but I would like to get my money back. They informed me that the money um, I would have to go through Delta Airlines, which was the flight uh, carrier that I booked. And um, so I approached um, Delta Airlines at that point and uh, went through a series of customer service um, gaffes where I finally got to a person that actually laughed at me when I said that um, I am out of work. I don't have unemployment. Um, I haven't received it yet and I need this money. He laughed and he said, well, if you'd like, I'll give you the uh, address that you can write to Delta Airlines. And um, good luck. He said, good luck with that. So I write to Delta Airlines and they actually uh, refund my ticket. Um, it's hard to see, but uh, processed June 9th. They said, we are sending that money to ASAP tickets. So on, on um, June 10th, I called ASAP tickets and I said, well, when uh, can I expect, you know, my money? I spoke with a lady named Abba. Initially, I dealt with a gentleman named Kenshi. He was nowhere to be found. He was gone. So Abba said, um, well, it's going to be a process. So a couple of weeks later, I call them again. Now she's irritated that I'm calling again. And um, I call back in another two weeks, which is now, um, you know, sometime in April or sorry, sometime in um, early July. And she said, everybody wants their money back. It's I can't give you a date. Um, there's no reason to call again. We'll inform you when you're going to be able to get your money back. So after. Um, August, that's when I contacted the pissed off uh, customer and wrote that review. And uh, that's when somebody contacted me um, from ASAP tickets and said, oh, well, um, you know, working on it, just be patient. So then I waited a while longer and I finally um, got this uh, refund notice from ABBA and she said, your money will be coming within 10 business days. That was the 14th of August. On the 17th of August, I get a call from another gentleman from another gentleman from ASAP Tickets, Pasha. And he said, well, what we'd like to do is we'd like to give you a voucher. Well, the voucher in the very beginning was something I didn't want. And he said, well, if you don't accept this voucher, which will be good for a couple of years, um, it's going to take much longer to get your money back. So I sent him an email which stated, if I don't get my money back within 10 days, I will contact um, the appropriate um, authorities in California and Delaware where you do business 
and I will then take it to court if nothing has transpired after that. Within two days after that email, I actually got my money back on my credit card. So I finally did. In the meantime, I've corresponded with a few of the people that have um, enlisted your service, and um, they said that they've had to uh, contact the attorney generals in California and Delaware uh, to and let them know that ASAP Tickets uh, was an organization not to be trusted by the consumer. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. I did get my money back, but um, again, it was booked in January, canceled in March, didn't see any money until, um, you know, like August 19th. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. I will never do business with ASAP tickets again. Yesterday, I get a call from ABBA. She goes, and she's from um, ASAP tickets. And she said, um, Jack, would you, um, could you take down that, um, that review that you wrote? Um, could you please just take it down? I said, no, I, I can't do that. Well, could you at least let people know that we did pay you back? I said, yeah, I, I don't know. It, it took you so long to do this. I, I don't see the point in, in letting people know that you eventually paid me when you should have paid me uh, after June 9th within a two-week period. And it took from that end of June all the way until uh, the end of August or end of yeah mid-August to uh, finally get my money. I said, that, that isn't how quality um, organizations do business. And I said, you, you, would, you say that what I found in organizations like this, the more they talk about customer service, the less they provide it. <laughs> they, well, they're putting you on hold telling you how important your call is, and then it's going to be recorded so that um, this will help them with customer service. And it's just a way to prolong the agony. And I think it's important for the consumer to know that um, even though I did get my money back, that nobody should have to go through a process like that, especially in a time where money is very tight. People have lost their jobs um, and they're holding your money that was refunded to them to give to me after I purchased um, ticket protection. And what protection was there? There was no protection. They held on to it and then they tried to cut a back room deal uh, to give me a voucher. Unacceptable. Um, I will never do business with this company again. Um, and I hope that in the future, people will look at these reviews about ASAP tickets and then it'll make a difference for them deciding who to choose to do business with in regards to travel. I, I think um, due diligence, having um, all of your ducks in a row, ticket numbers, um, uh, conversations, everything documented so that you have a... Um, a certain repertoire to look at where you can say, no, this is exactly what happened. This is the time frame it happened. And this is the result of those conversations. And um, my recommendation in the future is to deal directly with the airlines. Even that's problematic. But at least if there is going to be a refund, the refund would come directly to the consumer from the airlines. It wouldn't go to the secondary market like ASAP tickets, it, you know, and, and ASAP tickets, you know, it, it sounds to me like none of those people are actually in, in America. Uh, it sounds like it's, um, they're all from, from India. And it sounds like, um, you know, I don't know how ASAP tickets is going to stay in business uh, if they continue to do business like this. It doesn't make sense, especially in a time when customer service is so important. Because when you have a pandemic, that changes the whole uh, landscape of uh, customer service. It means that you actually have to perform customer service because there's so many um, things that have changed in travel. And uh, so many people aren't traveling because 
everything within the states and uh, foreign economies and governments is changing on a monthly basis. And so um, I would think that they'd want to perform at their highest level during this time so that um, they could show people that we are a trusted organization. ASAP Tickets is anything but that. Well, the last thing I'd like to say is I agreed to this video uh, interview even after I received my money back from ASAP Tickets because um, what I went through with uh, phone numbers that all of a sudden were disconnected on ASAP Tickets, people that I was talking to I couldn't find anymore. And then over the period of three or four months going through this pandemic and unemployment issues and that sort of thing, this company did not perform, ASAP tickets did not perform uh, to the satisfaction of, of a consumer. And I think that the world should know that uh, this is not an organization that can be trusted when things go wrong. And sometimes they do with travel, even with travel per ticket protection. Unacceptable.